Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I'm back. My um, energy videos. This is uh, long overdue. Um, an energy video from me. But I gotta say it's probably uh, been well worth the wait for, well for me anyways. Um, hopefully it is for you too. I got something interesting to show you. Uh, first of all, uh, basically just to explain my setup here. Um, I have a 12 volt cordless drill basically is my prime mover it's driving the shaft of this wheel and it's my wheel setup two wheels right there's 24 magnets there's 12 positions 24 magnets on each wheel so that's 40, 48 magnets excuse me I just had supper and I have the hiccups <laughs> Um, I have a generator coil here on the wheel situated between the magnets like uh, in a previous video I drove it with a Bedini that way but um, basically I have the drill circuit here just set up um, in a normal way I have two leads coming out of the drill I drilled a hole there and have a couple wires coming out basically one goes to a switch this is the switch and it continues on here to my battery that's a positive terminal there's the negative terminal and I have a lead from this meter here right so the black lead is here on the negative terminal and the red positive lead comes back into the drill. So obviously I'm measuring the amp draw here, right? We have 12 volts here, right? This is a uh, 57 amp hour 12 volt deep cycle battery. It uh, right now it's sitting at about 12.45. Um, you'll take my word on that. So I'm measuring the amp draw of the drill here. Then from my uh, generator coil right between the magnets uh, basically the leads come up here right uh, one comes over here to this lead uh, the other goes through a switch right and the switch is off right right now so we're going to start it with it off the other lead comes here then they come down into a bridge rectifier and I have this meter hooked up to the bridge rectifier now first I'm going to show you the volts um, with the meter. The DC volts should be around 70 volts. Um, and then I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to uh, <coughs> show the, um, the current that's going through there, the amps. And uh, you'll see what happens. Now first I'm going to start it up by hand. I'm going to flip the switch it's going to have some drag on the drill so initially the amp draw here from the drill is going to start out at somewhere like 10 amps or something like that because it's straining to turn the wheel but it's going to pick up and it's going to level off at about 4.6 amps right 4.6 amps and then when it does I'm going to uh, flip the switch show you the volts it'll still be an open circuit so there won't be any strain on the wheel there should be no change in our amp draw uh, when I show you the volts and then I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you the amp draw and we'll see what happens there uh, before I show you uh, the amp draw here I'm going to put a little friction on the wheel with my hand and we'll see what it does to the amp draw very little friction okay here we go I'm going to get her started Give it a start by hand. So, the drill is drawing 4.6 
points to Camp, thereabouts. It should level off at about 4.6 to 4.65. Around 4.65. Now I'm going to close the circuit here, or I'm going to um, flick the switch and allow the voltage down here to the uh, bridge rectifier. And you can see that I'm getting 71 volts DC. 72. 71, 72 volts DC. Uh, it's still not a closed circuit. I've gone about 4.7 amps, 4.65 to 4.7. of 
the lens effect. Made this video, I'm making this video first of all as a demonstration of this effect. I didn't invent this or, or come up with this myself. This is from two years of research, researching old patents, old inventors that were shut up by energy companies, and I finally figured it out. Wow. It took me two years to go from being afraid of electricity, and then I made my welder down there. But it took me two years to go from being afraid of electricity to understanding free energy. Hopefully everyone understands the implications here. There's no tricks. Ugh, my back. There's nothing under the table. Yeah. Um, or under the box. This is real easy. Just like Ed Lead Scalman said, um, it's actually very easy. It's just in knowing how to do it. And I hope everyone shares this video uh, with your friends and anyone who's interested in making their own free energy. This is made completely out of junk. This old drill was junk. All the magnets there came from junk microwave ovens. It's all junk. And there might be a 2x4 in there I bought. But um, anyone can do this. And it's just like Ed said, it's just in knowing how to do it. Like I said, this is a demonstration. Um, I'm not going to keep this a secret. And by the way, Ed Lead Scalman didn't keep, keep it a secret. I cursed him in the past. My apologies, Ed. Oh, and I meant to have him in the video, I forgot. Oh well, next video. Ed told us exactly how to do this. Obviously, the effect I just showed you comes from the design of my coil. I'll tell you right now, it comes down to impedance and frequency. Uh, there's another gentleman out there, Thane C. Hines channel. Um, he demonstrates this effect as well. But I have a lot of improvements to make to this coil. I just kind of threw this together, having the idea or having the idea given to me, or <laughs> not given, uh, oh, unve unveiled, I guess, or whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to be making uh, another video showing exactly how to do this and explaining why the coil behaves the way it does. But just know for now that Ed Lead Scowling gave us the recipe um, to do this with no with no secrets withheld now his anti-gravity okay he probably should have told us more there but um his book magnetic currents all you need um actually my coil design is kind of a cross between thane c hines and uh ed lead ed lead Scalman. and if you notice the coil being sandwiched between these magnets um is the same concept as Ed Lead Scalman. Ed Lead Scalman had a U-shaped core, which uh, uh, made uh, met up with the magnets as the wheel turned, right? Just as it does in here. There's a design difference, <clears throat> and the main difference being um, that the middles of the magnets on his wheel were accessible. Uh, at the center of the wheel, which I also think is important for another effect. <laughs> but that'll be my next goal. Anyways, I'm on to it, and uh, hopefully people see the importance of this. And uh, I will have another video coming here, I promise, in a few days. Um, this is all I'm going to be thinking about now. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and uh, why it happens. And it comes down to impedance just like Tesla said, in frequency. But um, there you have it. Um, please comment as usual, and uh, I'll be talking to you later. Woohoo!
calculator, YouTube.